Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new around here, welcome. My name is Divyanka and I'm a doctor of pharmacy here in the US. On this channel, I strive to provide you guys with resources to build your ideal professional life. Now, I'm a PharmD, I went to pharmacy school, but I graduated two years ago, I'm now working, and looking back, there are some things that I wish I knew going into pharmacy school. So today, I'm going to be talking about those things and hopefully this helps some of you guys out there if you guys are just starting pharmacy school if you're thinking about getting into pharmacy school if you just need something to help you prepare for the years ahead of you i hope this helps you the first thing i wish i knew at the beginning of pharmacy school was all the different career paths that a pharmacist could go into. The landscape of pharmacy, the industry of pharmacy is changing a lot and there's so much you can do with your PharmD degree, but that's not helpful to you unless you actually know what those things are. So I do wish I at least did my research or there were more resources on what exactly a pharmacist can do after graduating because there are so many different options. So on this channel, I actually have multiple videos explaining those different pathways. I'll link them in the description bar below. If you guys want to watch them and learn what those paths are, it'll at least provide you a good starting point to the many, many different paths out there. But really be proactive in understanding what they are, understanding maybe where you fit into them because that's what's ultimately going to matter. And the earlier you know all that, the better. The next thing I wish I knew earlier was which years in pharmacy school actually really, really matter. Now, of course, every single year in school matters. You need to get a good GPA. You need to work hard. But in pharmacy school, there are specific years where things are just going to be more challenging. Classes are harder. There are known years where you really need to make school a priority. And for someone like me, I do a lot outside of school. It was really necessary for me to know probably a little earlier than I did. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, your P2 year or your fourth year, if you're doing a six year program, is extremely, extremely difficult in most curriculums. And this is pretty universal across all pharmacy programs in the US, but even your third year, your fourth year, actual pharmacy school years get challenging. And you really need to make sure that you set aside time to study, to put in the time, to actually get the concepts, because it is a lot. Outside of that, your last year is of course just rotations, so you don't need to be as worried about that in terms of putting in the time and effort. And if you're in a six year program, then the first two prerequisite years are again on the easier side. So that's where you can really explore, get involved on campus, campus, do a lot of other things, but your P1 and especially P2 year do get very, very difficult. Next, I wish someone sat me down and explained to me how to study for exams earlier. There is definitely a strategic way of going about studying for exams, and that never clicked to me until the very, very end of my P2 year. And it's really important to understand this because you don't have unlimited amounts of time, and especially in your pharmacy school years, it feels like there's just so much to study and you don't have enough time and you really do need to be strategic about it. Now, generally what I learned was you're in pharmacy school and so what matters the most is the medications and I would really focus on everything and not just, again, emphasize what was necessary on each exam. So definitely ask your alumni, ask upperclassmen, what is recommended for each class, how to study, how to really make sure your tactics are on point so you're not wasting time. I didn't do this until way later and it really didn't help me. So I do wish I knew earlier how to be strategic about studying for exams. It's not like normal studying where you can really consume all the information and spit it out on the exam and be good to go. Everything compounds on each other and there's just so much to know that there's no way you can actually really know all of it. So again, being strategic is key. Talk to the people who would know about that, talk to professors, etc. Get what's important, know that, study that, and you will be good to go. Next, I wish I knew earlier how important leadership is in terms of getting a job, in terms of getting internships, etc. This means getting involved on campus. Getting into a leadership position on an executive board of an organization or a club on campus won't happen until you're a member, until you're involved in that organization, and that all takes time. So the earlier you get involved, the better. And I didn't get involved in organizations until my second, third year. And although that wasn't too late, it was still kind of late. Leadership is just naturally one of those soft skills that you want to be able to speak to on your resume professionally, independent of whichever career path you end up going down. So start early, get involved, understand how important leadership is, 
talk to the executive board as you're involved to see how you can get into those positions, what you need to do to get elected and all of that. Again, your first couple of years are just going to be easier. So you want to spend the time then and get involved so that you set yourself up for success and so that you won't be in your difficult years of school where all you need to do is study, but then you realize that you haven't gotten involved and you wanna do that too. There's not gonna be time to do everything. So start early, definitely start early. I wish I knew this earlier and know that that matters a lot. Next, I wish I knew the importance of networking earlier. I seriously got to a point where I was tired of hearing the word networking, but you really have to understand how important it is. It makes your own life so much easier. And once you get over the hump of the awkwardness of networking and the fear of networking and all of those things that all of us encounter, networking only helps you. The more people you know, the better. And again, that's going to help you in school. You'll get more of those studying strategies. You'll have more people to talk to about what you need to be doing. It's better for you getting involved in organizations. It's better for internships. It's better for careers. It's better for everything. So understand as early as possible the importance of networking. I really wish someone sat me down and said to all this to me because it's it's incredibly important. And once I did realize it, I have been really gung-ho about it. And I can tell you that since then, it's definitely made my life easier. And I could still do a lot more in the realm of networking. So there's literally endless opportunities, but get used to it as soon as possible. Start with students, then alumni, then professors, and then anyone in the world on LinkedIn. The world is your oyster if you let it be, and especially in the world of networking. So get used to it, understand the importance, and just do it. Lastly, you need to understand the weight of your GPA on your career path. And so this means that you should probably know what general career path you want to go into earlier than your fifth or sixth year of school or your P3, P4 year. Of course, you can always change it, but depending on what career path you go down, the weight of your GPA really does differ. For instance, for the pharmaceutical industry, the GPA doesn't matter as much as it would in terms of getting a residency at a hospital or a clinic. And knowing that difference is incredibly important to know where to put your time and where to prioritize your time and your efforts. If you know that GPA is of utmost importance, then you need to make sure that you are spending all your time in making sure that you are as close to that 4.0 as possible. But if you know that the career path you wanna go down does not require that, then maybe you'll spend more time doing internship or searching for other opportunities or networking or doing all these other things that matter. It really helps you prioritize but you can only do this if you know a little early on. So overall, basically start everything early, but especially here, it'll really help you identify what your priorities are, where you need to put your time, and this is going to help you finding your career and making your career a much easier process. Overall, those are the things that I wish I knew earlier within my pharmacy school career. I learned these along the way, but no one ever sat me down, especially in my early years, to tell me all this. For those of you guys who needed this insight, I really hope this was helpful for you. Again, I wish someone told me this earlier. So I do hope I am that someone for you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If this video was helpful at all, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more helpful information like this. As always, thank you for your time. Thank you for sticking around. That is it for today's video and you guys will see me in the next one. Mm -hmm.